Do you know the real story behind JFK's assassination? Welcome to the Curious Culture Club, where we explore history's most intriguing mysteries. The JFK assassination, a pivotal moment in history shrouded in controversy. Unraveling the truth is no easy task. Join us as we delve into the top theories and clues surrounding JFK's assassination. The official account of JFK's assassination starts in Dealey Plaza on that fateful November day in 1963. President John F. Kennedy was on a political trip, riding through the plaza in an open-top limousine. Suddenly, shots rang out and the president was fatally wounded. The subsequent investigation led by the Warren Commission concluded that Lee Harvey Oswald, a former Marine with a checkered past, was the lone assassin. According to the commission, Oswald fired three shots from the sixth floor of the Texas School Book Depository, where he was employed. The second shot, they said, struck the president and Texas governor, John Connolly, who was seated in front of JFK. The third shot proved fatal for the president. Oswald was arrested later that day, but was shot and killed two days later by nightclub owner Jack Ruby in a bizarre twist that added more fuel to the fire of speculation. The Warren Commission's findings, however, have been a subject of controversy, with critics pointing out inconsistencies and gaps in the evidence. While the official account paints Oswald as the lone gunman, questions remain. Was Oswald capable of making those shots? Did he have a motive to kill the president? And most importantly, did he act alone? Or were there others involved in this tragic event? But was Oswald really the lone gunman? Let's examine some alternate theories. The controversy surrounding JFK's assassination has given rise to numerous conspiracy theories, each more intriguing than the last. First up, we have the theory of multiple shooters. This theory suggests that Lee Harvey Oswald couldn't have fired three shots in such a short span of time with the rifle he used. Some argue that there must have been another shooter or perhaps even more hidden in the surrounding buildings or the infamous grassy knoll. Then there's the theory of government involvement. This theory posits that elements within the US government, possibly the CIA or the military, orchestrated the assassination due to disagreements with Kennedy's policies. Some theorists even suggest that Vice President Lyndon B. Johnson was involved, hoping to ascend to the presidency. But what about Oswald himself? Lee Harvey Oswald was a complex figure with a convoluted past, a former U.S. Marine who defected to the Soviet Union, only to return to the U.S. later. His motivations for killing Kennedy, if indeed he did, remain murky. Some theorists speculate that he was a pawn in a larger game, manipulated by powerful forces into becoming the fall guy for the assassination. Finally, we have the alleged cover-up theory. This theory suggests that the US government suppressed crucial evidence to hide the truth about the assassination. The quick cleanup of the crime scene, the rushed autopsy, and the handling of Oswald's murder while in police custody all feed into this narrative. These theories, while intriguing, raise more questions than they answer. The mystery of JFK's assassination continues to captivate us, compelling us to question, to probe, and to seek the truth. The quest for answers, it seems, is an inevitable part of our human nature, and as we delve deeper into these conspiracy theories, we're led on a journey through the dark corridors of power, deception, and intrigue, a journey that challenges our understanding of history and our faith in the institutions that govern our lives. Perhaps two of the most contentious points in JFK assassination theories are the magic bullet theory and the grassy knoll theory. Let's delve a little deeper into these theories. The magic bullet theory stems from the Warren Commission's conclusion that a single bullet fired by Oswald from the sixth floor of the Texas School Book Depository caused all of Kennedy's and Governor Connolly's non-fatal injuries. This single bullet, according to the theory, zigzagged in midair changing direction and speed. Critics argue this is physically impossible, suggesting instead that there must have been multiple shooters to account for the injuries. On the other hand, the grassy knoll theory posits that a second shooter was involved in the assassination, hiding on a grassy hill across from the Texas School Book Depository. This theory is supported by many witnesses who reported hearing shots from the direction of the grassy knoll. However, despite extensive investigation, no conclusive evidence of a second shooter has been found. The magic bullet and grassy knoll theories have sparked fierce debate among researchers, historians, and conspiracy theorists alike. 
Critics argue that the magic bullet theory defies the laws of physics, while proponents of the grassy knoll theory point to eyewitness accounts and acoustic evidence as proof of a second shooter. Both theories have their critics and proponents adding to the mystery of JFK's assassination. The JFK assassination left a lasting impact on American society and politics, a wound in the national psyche that still hasn't fully healed. The event ignited an ongoing debate, a tug of war between the official account and the myriad conspiracy theories that emerged in its wake. Public perception varies, with some firmly believing in the official narrative, while others are convinced that the truth is shrouded in secrecy. In the digital age, modern technology has become a crucial tool in revisiting the evidence and testing the various theories. Forensic analysis software, 3D modeling, and other technological advancements have been used to recreate the tragic event, offering new viewpoints and challenging long-held beliefs. Some of these investigations have provided additional support to the official narrative, while others have given more credence to the conspiracy theories. Theories continue to evolve and new evidence occasionally surfaces, fueling the debate and keeping the mystery alive. But regardless of the theories one subscribes to, the fact remains that the JFK assassination was a pivotal moment in American history that forever changed the course of the nation. The JFK assassination continues to be a topic of intense debate and speculation. As we navigate through the labyrinth of JFK assassination theories, one thing is clear. The quest for truth is as complex as history itself. We've journeyed through the official account, the conspiracy theories, the magic bullet, the grassy knoll and the aftermath. The echoes of that fateful day in Dealey Plaza continue to reverberate through time, reminding us of the importance of critical inquiry and respect for history. Which of these theories do you believe to be the correct one? Please let us know in the comments section.